Let's talk again about Catherine. Yes, Catherine Deves generates news like no other candidate. The Liberal candidate for Warringah, Tony Abbott's old seat, is trying to campaign locally and stay out of the limelight after our interview on Monday generated a lot of news the following day. Abbott has posted a video to Liberal supporters urging them to get behind Deves. The more I see of Catherine Deves, the more impressed I am with her courage, with her common sense, with her decency and with, quite frankly, her capacity to win this seat back for the Liberal Party. So I really do urge all Warringah Liberals to get behind our candidate. She is our candidate, she's doing a good job and she deserves to be supported. And whatever faults we might see uh, in the selection process. Fair enough. She was, of course, a captain's pick because the Liberal pre-selection shenanigans in New South Wales robbed the local party uh, party members of a, of a vote on candidates. But back to my interview from Monday uh, and claims that it was some kind of setup. Here's the bit that created all the fuss. Tell me if any of this looks rehearsed. And I apologise for my language. I do not resile from my position. So uh, when you said that the, the gender reassignment surgery for teenagers was mutilation, that yeah. was inappropriate? Look, that is actually the correct medico-legal term. When you are looking at medical... But you were wrong to use that language? Look, it's very emotive and it's uh, very confronting uh, and, and it's very ugly. So, of course, people are going to be offended. But when you look at medical ne negligence cases, that is the terminology that they use. Uh, it is also contained in the Crimes Act of New South Wales. So you're not really apologising or stepping back from that language? Well, I'm apologising for how people might have perceived it uh, and the fact that it is confronting and it is ugly. And I certainly don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, uh, but, but that is the correct terminology. Yeah, as you can probably hear from the questioning, it surprised me greatly that she went down that path. I thought she'd just stick by her apology, say as little as possible about this and, and try and move on. But if you never ask, you never know, eh? So you wouldn't believe the wild conspiracy theories put about by the so-called progressive media on this stuff. The nuttier end of the political spectrum, represented here by former gallery journalist Margot Kingston, says my interview was a setup for the Prime Minister. These people are kind of hilarious. But cop this, the Sydney Morning Herald's Nikki Sava, she's gone into print along the same lines in a column talking about master strokes and, quote, moral failure. Citing a Liberal source, she says my interview was deliberately set up to resuscitate the issue, the transgender issue, so that the Prime Minister would get asked about it the next day. Now, Sava knows how to contact me, but she didn't. She probably didn't want to have her wild theory shot down before she could publish it. She used to work for the Coalition government in the Howard years, but she's become a very embittered conservative hater over the past decade. Have a listen to this, though. The ABC, with no information, no checks, and even denials from the Prime Minister's office, they spread Nikki Savas stuff anyway. The allegation has been made, uh, based on her sources by Nikki Sava, that the Prime Minister's office is running Catherine Deems' campaign, which is a pretty, pretty controversial thing, if that were to be the case. Prime Minister's office denies it. Even though they deny it, they run with it on the ABC anyway. Talk about shoddy journalism. Just go with anything, no matter the facts. Now, as you heard on my show in the weeks leading up to Monday's interview, I was frustrated by the Liberal Party blocking my attempts to interview Deves. I complained on air. I complained to the state director. I complained to the federal director. I even mentioned it on here, on this program, when I interviewed the Prime Minister. Catherine Deves, I'd love to interview her. It seems like the New South Wales Liberal Party have, party have got her in hiding. Uh, you'd have no problems with her turning up for an interview with me, would you? Well, I, look, that, that's a matter for the campaign teams to sort those things out. Yeah, it's kind of below his pay grade, right? But still, all my requests were denied. So I, I found out on Monday where Catherine Deves was going to be at pre-poll and we got there and interviewed her on the footpath as you saw since then, the Liberal Party organisation, campaign organisation, has cheesed off about the distraction. The Deves camp is cranky at me too because it inflamed all this stuff again. 
And God knows what anyone in the Prime Minister's office thinks. But the pathetic conspiracy theorists of the green left media spot another evil conservative plot. What, someone asking someone, a journalist, someone in the media asking a candidate a couple of questions. Next, they'll be claiming the Russians are running the campaign. 